Shalom. Our Torah portion this week is Truma, and Truma deals with the design and the construction of the Mishkan, that temporary, portable house of worship that accompanied our people during their 40 years in uh, the wilderness. Now, I want to draw your attention to the Ark that is the container uh, that held the Ten Commandments. And particularly, I want to uh, draw your attention to the design of the lid, the covering of the Ark. Now, we are told that there were to be two cherubs, two angels of pure gold um, that were to be incorporated in the design. There's one Midrash that tells us uh, that uh, there are two cherubs, two angels, uh, one representing God's strict sense of mercy, the other one God's compassion, and of course God's compassion always over, overtakes, overcomes God's strict sense of justice. Now, there is something rather interesting in the design of, uh, of these cherubs. I want to show them to you. If we look at them, we see that uh, they face each other. And we are told in, uh, the, uh, in the Torah that they were to be of one piece with the lid itself. Now, given how complicated uh, the, this design was, the, the design of these two cherubs, it would have been easier to have made them separately and then welded them later on on to uh, the lid of, uh, of the ark. But they are to be made in one piece with the ark. Now, what does this say? This, uh, if we look at the cherubs, we see that they're they have the faces of children. And this is to tell us that our children's destiny, uh, that all of, of the future generations of the Jewish people uh, are to be um, inextricably bound to the Torah. The Torah must be part and parcel of, uh, of, of our children's spiritual makeup. Now, there's also something rather interesting in the design of these cherubs. You may notice uh, that uh, their faces are the faces of children, but their bodies are the bodies of mature people. Uh, it might be understood that no matter how old a person might be, he or she can have a very youthful soul and that there are always new discoveries to be made in the Torah if we bring a new, fresh and youthful approach to our study of the Torah. Well, I hope that you will read this week's Torah portion and come to your own conclusion. Shabbat Shalom.